guys. CP the tool addict. Woo! Come on. Come on, little feller. You know you want to jump up and say hi. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, he's not going to do it. Anyways, welcome back to another show. Another great episode. We've got New Tool Tuesday. Cool Tool Tuesday. However you want to look at it. Uh, we'll do some terrible Tool Tuesdays mixed in with this, but New Tool Tuesday is good. So, we've got several items that I want to show you today uh, that I've got. One is Lyle that's new. We'll save that for the end. The best for last. Lyle Tools is an awesome company. You guys know how I feel about Lyle. Great stuff, but let's jump right into it. Talk about what we got. Let's show you. 2,000 years later. But before we get into this video, let's talk about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor of the video. You know a lot of YouTubers do sponsorships and whatnot for the videos. So stick around. Don't click off yet. You're going to like this. Today's sponsor is you. Thank you for watching the video. And I also want to thank myself for believing in me and doing this and sticking around to do this and people that enjoy it and love watching me. And I appreciate the information I can handle give out to you guys. Unfortunately, it's not a big sponsor. No, we're not doing Simply Safe. No, we're not doing Keeps. No, we're not doing, uh, what's the other one? The earbuds. No, we're not doing, uh, I mean, all of you have seen them if you watch videos and whatnot on YouTube. But I want to thank the real sponsors of the video, and that's you. I just wanted to add that in there. A little bit funny, but that's my little plug for you guys. So, let's get into the tool. Tomorrow. Well, all right, the first thing I'm going to talk about, I picked up these rope, rope ratchets, and I honestly didn't know J.D. Tico was going to have these, but uh, I seen a guy using these at a shop one day, and they're kind of neat. These don't, they're not really super heavy duty, but they seem like they'll be perfect for holding back wires and whatnot on a couple things, so I thought, you know what, and they were dirt cheap. Now, I will put a link for J.D. Tico's, uh, for the ones for J.D. Tico, but pretty simple. Uh, not nothing really extravagant. I kind of like these. They are plastic. I don't know. JD Tico's are better or whatnot. But, uh, just some nice, and they're coated hooks, so they won't scratch anything. I like the plastic because it's simple. It's not going to scratch anything once again. Very light duty. I think they're about six foot long for the rope. But, uh, super handy. A super simple, cheap device to help you. They're eighth inch is what they are. Rope ratchet. The, what's it called? Uh, 70... 7516 rope ratchet. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I picked these up off Amazon, unfortunately. But got four uh, four of them for like 12 bucks or something like that. Pretty cheap. Nothing that I'm going to use a ton, but they will definitely help for holding up lighter things. I think, you know, the test weight on this should be 25, 35 pounds probably at, at best, you know, before you have any issues. But that's all I wanted them for was for holding back looms or something like that or hoses or just simple things like that where you can just stick them on real quick, pull them back. Super cheap. And I'll put a link in the description for that. Next thing I got was this white box with one of the biggest sockets I could find. <laughs> just because I thought it would be funny. So I got myself a giant socket. That's a huge bitch. Uh, I got a steel man. I should have got an ODC, but it doesn't really matter because they're made in both places. But I got a four inch socket now i kind of got this as a joke uh a novelty gift and i'll show you why one reason i i will there's a specific need i need this for on a tractor uh but in the meantime i got this because if you notice my poor thermos because i'm cheap about a lot of things not my tools i wanted some place to hold that and i actually saw this on somebody's video that they were putting their cup in the socket and i thought you know what that's a great idea help stabilize it <laughs> i know some of you guys are gonna give me crap in the comments but four inch three quarter inch drive six point uh steelman socket made in taiwan not china yes made in taiwan and it was like 30 bucks so it's a giant socket why not who shouldn't have a giant socket for 30 bucks uh makes a nice couple where i can put some stuff in it Honestly, if I, and if I need a four-inch socket, I got a four-inch socket for 30 bucks. I actually thought I could also put some other stuff in there if I wanted to, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> it's kind of a gag, but, you know, sometimes you might need those for axle nuts or something like that, and these are relatively inexpensive. They're kind of a, I don't know if they call them like a, they're a steel socket, but they're welded in. This isn't a bad quality, I will say that. Uh, I, I suspect 
that it will do the job if I need it to, but uh, it is not a normal, like if you look at some of the snap-ons, they're $800 for sockets this size. So yeah, it is what it is. You guys let me know in the comment box. And I will on honestly apologize to you guys because I actually have had these for a while and have just forgot because I've had so much going on. Uh, so I've had these tools for a while and I forgot to show them and talk about them. So this tool right here is a real important one. You want to stick around because you want to see the loud one because I'm telling you it's another. This is an inexpensive tool haul. Uh, I think to all total under $75 for everything I spent here today. So definitely one of those economy tool hauls and stuff that's really, really, really handy. And this guy is no exception. And the last ones are going to be USA made, by the way. So let me get this feller open here and pull it out. I'm probably going to keep it in this tube, but this is a precision state edge. Now shout out to all Theo over at Country Mile Garage. I think I saw him do a video and that kind of reminded me I needed a new straight edge because mine got ran over. Uh, let it borrow somebody, got ran over. And these are handy and I will be checking some cylinder heads and whatnot. It's good to have a straight edge and this one is no exception. And I'll tell you the one thing I like about this is it comes with this plastic guard on it. But this is a machined guaranteed straight edge. It has a hole if you want to hang it up on your wall. I'm probably going to keep it in the tube because I do not want these to get bent, but that is 100% true. Straight edges are so handy. They have a ton of uses. If you just want to measure a flat surface and then use your feeler gauges to stick underneath there, it's absolutely invaluable. The fact that OEM has this is made in tools. little fun fact about OEM tools too. If you guys remember, some of you guys are older might remember Great Neck Tools. That is OEM tools. So I can... <laughs> Kind of got a soft spot in my heart for great neck because I'll show you why. So this funky ratchet is actually a great neck ratchet. And I used the hell out of this ratchet when I was younger. Uh, it actually helped me with getting some starter bolts on and out. Before ratchets were around, guys, we didn't have tools that were as handy as they are now. So some of these things, as funky as it is, this was actually a pretty nice tool. Even though the head is basically half the size of my hand. It held up and it done its job. Uh, and it's real rotates back and forth. Nice, I mean, I obviously use this one. I seen this on a couple other people's channel. Let me know if you guys have gotten one of these or used one of these or seen what, remember seeing one of these, but this was made by Great Neck Tools and uh, it was handy. But the straight edge is definitely a nice one. I like the fact that it's powder coated. This edge is not a good one to measure off of them, I will tell you that much, because you want to use this machine edge, which is protected. Hence the reason why they got the covering on it, but that makes sure you, guarantees you that they have a nice edge. Very heavy duty. I think this thing weighs, I don't know if it had the weight on the tube here or not. It's got a weigh, it's a 24 inch, and look, <laughs> it even says it on the tube here. Great neck, saw manufacturer. Uh, precision straight edge. 24 inches. I'm guessing it weighs close to three pounds. It's not light. It's a well-built tool and it's made in the USA. So you can't go wrong with it. I mean, it says it right there, right? So, but let's get into the last one because I know you guys are going to really like seeing this. Hang on to your whiskers. We've got another oil drain. Only this one's a little bit different. So Lyle just came out with these and this is their oil drain tub. Excuse me for it being dirty. But uh, once again, USA made, made in the USA by Lyle Drain Tub. This has a couple unique features. You're going to see these little indents here, and I'll show you why. This kit is right here, the no splatter pad with supports. I wanted to get this oil drain because this was going to be handy, I think, for doing coolant uh, and, and jumping out flu fluids with a deeper, deeper pan in it. This is, how many gallon is this? Four and a half gallon. Uh, oval drain plan so that's plenty for taking out coolant i do have another one for coolant but i'm going to use it for other stuff but i'll show you i'll get it all set up here and we'll show you what's cool about it what am i doing i should be showing you guys on camera how this thing operates so we're going to open up the package here and get the bars out get these uh these crossbars out get these crossbars out of here they didn't package it in a wimpy way i can tell you that much so we take these crossbars out 
what you do is you slide these into the pan like so they got the little lip here that's really nice and now you just stick your let's see here which way does this one go here this thing kind of sets in the lip like so and it's pretty sturdy not gonna lie to you so you can actually if you want to do oil changes on this you could because you could literally set uh, pretty heavy stuff on there um, what I got here well hell let me just lay my ratchet there's my mother of God my ratchet laid on top of it so if you wanted to go that route or you wanted to go with the other no splatters but definitely a nice unit for keeping stuff from falling down in your coolant. How many times have you been draining coolant, drop nuts and bolts, whatnot? Yeah, I think that's supposed to be how that is. So the handle's right there, so you can uh, you can hold it like that, I suppose, to pour it out. I don't know. <clears throat> Let me see if it shows it on there. Let me make sure I put it in, installed it exactly how they have it on there. Yes, that's how they have it on the deal. So the spout handle, or the open end there is towards the spout handle. Definitely, definitely a nice uh, new one. This is a brand new tool, just came out. I paid for this 100%. Lyle did not send this to me. So, any of you haters out there in the comments, you know, uh, I'll just put that to rest and I'll, you know, I will put a link for this in the uh, my description or down in the comment box for this. I think it was total 35, 45 bucks for this whole deal. But once again, these drain pans, no splatter pads, must have tools. So, anyways, guys. Appreciate you watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Get out there. Buy you some Lyle stuff. Buy you some OEM. Uh, unless you don't want to. You don't have to. But just some cool stuff I'm showing you. So anyways, guys, remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.